All right, everybody, how are we? So, as part of your assignment, you have to make a green screen if you want to have your setting be an image in the background or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to sort out your own green screen at home. You need some stuff. So you need to have, sorry assistant, green paper, which you can get maybe from and, and, you, and you also need some tape. Some tape. So hopefully or you've got you, green, Or a sticky tack or glue. Exactly. Hopefully you've got green paper at home or in your essential shopping, if you wanted to sneak out and buy some from Carrefour or Lulu, maybe the supermarkets have some. Um, otherwise, maybe you've got a green sheet or something like that at home. Be creative, see what you can do. Check out my bling from my daughter. Boom. All right, so first things first, make your green screen, gluing, or taping, or blue tapping your green screen to the wall. Let's do it, Rosie. And don't work on, and don't stand on spinning chairs. Done. And that is step one of making a green screen. I think that's going to be pretty good. Um, I'm going to bring it closer up. What do you think, Rosie? High five? On an elbow. Nice. Okay guys, so here I am with my green screen that I made. Um, it's a little bit thin for this wide camera, so what I would probably do is I would fill that up with some more. So my advice would be think about how much green you've got before you go ahead and film it, but for what it is, it's fine. I could just adjust my camera to make me all in green screen. I'll have some filming, so it's just that. Even if it's back further, you can work your way around it. Another thing that I've noticed is there's these white lines because I wasn't so accurate, I kind of rushed to get this done. Um, we're just going to deal with that. It's, we're working with whatever we've got at home, so no problem with that. Um, the example that I'm going to use now to show you is I'm going to use the green screen and go to some different places. And then in uh, Google Classroom, I'm going to show you exactly, not Google Classroom, sorry, in iMovie, how to edit these in the green screen, it's pretty simple. So the first thing I'm gonna do, clap my hands, and then I'm gonna go, where should we go, Rosie? To the beach? Yeah. Paris? Yeah. Paris. I'm gonna clap my hands, I'm gonna be in Paris. <claps> oh la la, je m'appelle Monsieur Lasteur. I am in Paris, oui Paris, oh le liche, a baguette, s'il vous plaît. Uh, I'm sick of Paris. Let's clap my hands and go somewhere else. Rose, come on in. Where should we go? Uh, maybe. Come. Maybe you should go to Japan. Ah, let's go to Japan. One, two, three. Oh, what are they? Where are they? This is Japan. Ah, look at Fujisan. これは富士山。すごいですね。日本大好き。<笑>はい。日本は終わって。じゃあ、次は。Wow. Now we're back in Australia. And my daughter's off to visit her grandparents. Alrighty. So that's three places we've just clicked in and out of. I want to go to Dubai. And now we're back in Dubai. Should we go to DAA? One, two, three. Alrighty, see you soon. Hi everyone, so here's the behind the scenes for how I made my groundbreaking cringe uh, green screen video. Uh, I'm going to show you an example so you can do that at home now. As you can see, I've got iMovie open. We all know how to do that. If not, search in iMovie, open it up. 
All right. Here's my recording I've got so far, and you can see this is what it looks like after I'm done with those four little, five little green screen edits that I did. Let's just use this part here as an example. So, what you're going to do is you need to decide what the background image you want in your green screen is. So, let's actually go to Google and I'll show you, oh, I learned how to do it as well, and I'll show you how I found that. Let's put a picture of something very cool, which is Mount Everest. So we're finding our image of Mount Everest. Oh, brilliant. That's the one we want. I'm saving that image. Save it as Everest, so I remember. It's gone to my downloads, we can see. Save. Back to iMovie. Now I need to import that image. I already go here into my downloads. I'll scroll down. There's Everest. Import selected. Alrighty. Now we want Everest to be in our video. I want this part here where I'm speaking to all be in Everest. So what I'm going to do actually is split the clip by pressing Command B and split the clip again to here. Command B. I want to have 17 seconds where I'm on Everest. What I'll do, I'll drag my picture down into there and then I'll drag my picture of my video of me speaking back on top. Now this is only four seconds at the moment so I need to make this 17 and there goes the vacuum cleaner. Brilliant. Now I've just put it on top at the moment. They're both about 17 seconds. And as you can see it now, it's sitting on top of the picture. The, the picture on top here is sitting on top there. What you're going to do is click here and press this rectangle and outlined rectangle, the video overlay settings, and change it from cutaway to, oh my goodness, green screen, blue screen setting. And there it is. As you can see, because of my green screen is homemade, there's some parts that I'm not fitting. So I'm just going to use the cleanup tool and drag that into there and drag this in. And as easy as that, Mr. Lars is delivering this bit of information from the top of Mount Everest. Simple, simple, simple. So if you look over here, I've done the exact same thing. Look at the settings. You can see where the cleanup tool is. You can see it's green screen on blue screen. So that's the behind the scenes. So you can make magic happen on your monologue performance if you would like to. Um, cool, cool, cool. Bye, everybody.